Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Night Chronic Yoast on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be going through the weekly reset for September 1st, 2020. Today is going to be the very last week of the Solstice of Heroes. It's the last opportunity to do anything involving the Solstice event, including the EAZ, getting your armor up to Magnificent set, so you do not have to do the final objectives, you just have to get it up to the Magnificent set, like I have. Not completed the full things on everything, but... Just Magnificent is the only requirement, because you can do everything else uh, outside of the uh, statue. Make sure you get all the Eververse items that you want, all that whatnot. This is the last week to do it. And of course, if you are still looking to complete a lot of stuff and you need help, I did create a guide for you guys. It's the Ultimate Solstice Guide I made a few weeks ago. Check that out. It is a good guide. Moving on to the regular weekly reset, starting off with the Nightfalls. The Nightfall ordeal this week will be the Corrupted. And from my experience, the Corrupted is one of the highest scoring Nightfalls out there, probably like second or third highest scoring in the game. And uh, because of that, you could probably get away with a 1020 hero. If not, then a obviously a 1050 will easily do it. But I think that you can do it on hero for 100k. And something else that's really important to note is that we now have access to all of the Ordeal Grandmasters for the Conqueror title this season. So if you missed any of the Grandmasters throughout the season, you can now do all five of them. This is supposed to be within the last few weeks of the season, but because we've done all of them already and, well, the, uh, you know, the season is 70 days out, uh, we, we have access for them for probably a long time, so complete those for the Conqueror title. For the regular Nightfalls, we have Lake of Shadows. It's going to be the EDZ Cabal Centur or Phalanx of the End. We have the Pyramidium. It's going to be on Io, the big Hobgoblin Sniper. And finally, we have the Festering Core. It's going to be the Taken Centurion at the End. The Heroic Modifier for this week will be Solar Singe. The Rotating Crucible playlist this week will be Team Scorch. Everybody has a Scorch Cannon. A lot of fun. And we also have Showdown. For Reckoning, this week it will be the Swords and of course it will be Void Singe. Anything available for the Swords and stuff should be available this week. <laughs> what are you doing over here, my friend? I'm trying to escape the noise and you bring a purring cat near me? Boy, as for Escalation Protocol, this week it will be the SMG. That's because last week was the shotgun and next week will be the sniper. As for Menagerie, this week it will be Pagori, beloved by Kallus, the big Hydra at the end. For the regular burn, it is obviously Solar Singe. It does line up with the Heroic modifier of the Strikes. And for the Heroic version, we have Extinguish, Match Game, Attrition, and Arc Singe. In my opinion, this is one of the harder bosses of Menagerie, so you should probably wait for the Ogre Week. Moving on to the Moon stuff and the Nightmare Hunts, this week we have Omnigol, we have the Fnatic, and we have Crota, Son of Oryx. None of these are really that easy as far as being able to cheese it, and I don't really have a recommendation. I believe Crota's the hardest. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen my Twitch streams yet, I do a lot of open lobbies, and this week I'll be doing a lot of Pit of Heresy, a lot of Master Nightfall. So make sure you come check that out. Link in the description down below to my Twitch, uh, which I'll be streaming basically right after this, where I'll be doing a lot of different carries. So if you still need these pits and Master Nightfalls, I'll be available to help because I do them quite quickly. For the Garden of Salvation raid, the challenge this week will be 0 to 100. It's going to be in the boss encounter, the final boss encounter of this raid. And in this encounter, at each of the relays, you have to dunk all 30 moats pretty much within 10 seconds of each other. So all of them have to be dunked pretty much immediately at each single relay, and then you can move on to the other one, which you also have to do all 30 at once. There's a special strategy to it, so check a guide online. And by the way, did you guys know that... Uh this uh, particular vendor challenge just sticks around. Like, you can save it for next season for powerful gear just right off the bat easily. Moving on to Ever versus Inventory, showing off the different things she has available for Bright Dust, including this beautiful ship for these Solstice of Heroes. Again, this is the last opportunity for Eververse items to be purchased, the last opportunity to get things for Bright Dust, and of course the Finisher, which is the only thing that is available for it direct silver or at least uh, just for direct silver everything else has been available uh during the week i do like the the way that this ship looks especially with different shaders you got a bunch of other things like the pomegranate loss which actually looks kind of nice on this set you got some other transmat effects you got some twisty dancey modes where you you do a twisted dance, which should be pretty straightforward. And again, there is an event section where you can purchase pretty much every single item that is available during the event, including the Bright Dust Solstice Titan Bundle or any bundle that is for that particular character that does match up with the subclass that you're currently using. The current set without all of these universal ornaments are just gonna have a white glow to it. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a different thing here and this can be used across all the different armors because it's a universal ornament. For the other Bright Dust section, we have the Power Rising emote, which is the Dragon Ball Z Power Power up thing, which we've been waiting for for quite a while that I'm absolutely just buying right away because I have been looking forward to it. You got the Cabana Shell, Guiding Light Treasure Hunter, pretty good combo. The uh, Ira's Grace, a pretty cool looking sparrow with the bursting lights, some ornaments for the Sturm, and Intimidating Snap, which is a triple person 
uh, emote where you're just kind of snapping at someone's direction. I do know that. I've seen that in the movies. Got some Spelunkin shells, different items across the bottom. Pretty straightforward. You know what you want. You know it when you see it. Got some tangerine glass. Everybody knows tangerine glass. They love it. They hate it. I hate that. Get this out of here. I just wish there was a way I could trade up my legendary shards for some bright dust. I mean, like, because, like, I have a lot of them. And finally, for Hawthorne's inventory, going to be showing off everything. Ooh, I need one of those. Everything that is available for the weekly raid challenges. First and foremost, we have the Last Wish Keep Out Challenge. This is going to be taking place in the Vault Encounter of the Last Wish Raid. Did I did I say that last week? This is this is definitely the Vault Encounter, which tasks you with keeping all the Yellow Health Knights out of the center circle in the Vault section. For the Scourge of the Past raid, we have to each their own. It's going to be in the Boss Encounter of the raid, and in this encounter, there's going to be six little white shieldy things around the boss of the boss. Every single person in the raid has to destroy at least one of those every time it's available. And finally for Crown of Sorrows we have with both hands again during the boss fight of this particular raid and in this encounter during the DPS part of the encounter you can only shoot down one hand once. You got your three pairs of people for the three different sides just assign those people in order for those three pairs of hands during the DPS. Nobody else can shoot a second hand no matter what. And that's gonna be pretty much it. That is the end of the uh the I gotta be honest with you, I got a lot of cat hair in my nose right now from getting a new cat, and I cannot st think straight, man. My throat's itching, my nose is clogged. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, concerns. Of course, come check out our live streams, which will be Open Lobby. Again, if you wanted to join for some Pit of Heresy, Master Nightmare Hunts, or if you just wanted to join me in a nice multiplayer emote hug, come join us in the live stream. Link in the description down below to my Twitch. It's Open Lobby if you need help completing a lot of the PvE objectives. I'm here for you. But yeah, that's the end of it. Hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Vinay and I'll see you guys on the next one.